Hey what's up everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell beside it for you to get notified whenever I upload new videos in this channel. For today's video, ang topic na yung discuss ko ay kung paano ma-resolve yung rejected Gcash account verification. By the end of this video, malalaman natin yung step-by-step -step guide kung paano ito gagawin at kung magiging successful ba yung Gcash account verification. First, mag-login lang tayo sa ating Gcash account. Tap na open na natin yung ating Gcash account. Tap lang natin yung profile icon na makikita sa lower right corner ng ating dashboard. Tap na sa profile page na tayo. Tap lang natin yung help. Then, pag nasa help center page na tayo, tap lang natin yung ask for help. Next, magsasubmit lang tayo ng ticket para ma-raise yung ating concern. I-fill out lang natin yung submit a request form. Next, i-provide lang natin yung ating email address na nakaregister sa ating Gcash account, yung ating Gcash registered full name, at yung ating mobile number na nakaregister sa Gcash. Sa pag-input ng number, huwag pong maglagay ng spaces, hyphen, or dash. Next, pipili naman tayo ng constraint category. Tap lang natin yung dash or arrow down. Then, lalabas yung list of categories. Piliin lang natin yung account verification. After matap yung account verification, lalabas yung tatlong choices. Piliin lang po natin yung I have an existing application. Then, itap lang natin yung option na my account is still in we're verifying your account. After makapili ng concern category, next pipili naman tayo ng ID submitted for verification. Hanapin lang po natin yung AFIL ID or temporary national ID since ito yung ginamit for verification. Drag down lang natin hanggang sa mahanap yung AFIL ID. Since wala sa choices yung AFIL ID, piliin lang natin yung others. Then, i-specify lang natin yung type of ID. I-type lang natin dito yung e-fill ID. Next, i-check naman natin yung screenshot of error prompt na box. Then, pipili naman tayo kung anong user type ang vini-verify nating account. Tap lang natin yung dash or arrow down. Then, lalabas yung apat na type ng Gcash account. Piliin na natin yung regular account. After makapili ng user type, next ilalagay natin yung date kung kailan tayo last na nag-verify ng ating Gcash account. May lalabas na calendar, piliin lang natin dito yung date kung kailan tayo nag-verify. After may input yung date of last KYC attempt, next ipoprovide naman natin yung details ng ating concern. Ito po yung pinalagay ko sa concern. I would like to raise concern regarding my application for Gcash account verification. When I submitted the ticket to follow up my account verification, the response I received was that my application was rejected. But I wasn't able to reapply for account verification since the status of my verification is still we're verifying your account. I'm looking forward for a prompt response since I really wanted to avail the full features of Gcash. Dinagdag ko lang ito sa last part para makita ng Gcash yung eagerness natin na ma-fully verify yung ating account. Medyo mahaba yung message na nanagay ko sa concern. Pwede nyo naman po itong i-edit pero dapat ma-specify ninyo yung complete concern or pwede din naman na gayahin nyo na lang yung message na nilagay ko. After ma-type yung concern, tap lang natin yung add file or drop files here. Then, magdadirect ito sa ating phone storage. Itap lang natin yung images. Then, piliin lang natin yung folder ng screenshots. Yung i-a-attach po natin dito ay yung screenshot ng reply ng Gcash na rejected yung ating application. Then, i-a-attach din natin yung status ng ating Gcash verification 
na we're still verifying your account. After ma-attach yung screenshots, tap lang natin yung submit. Once successfully submitted na yung ating request, pwede natin itong ma-check sa ating email address. Or pwede din natin ma-check yung response ng GCash sa ating GCash account. And that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click subscribe.